something you fly around on a hang glider, you pick up fruit in a basket and put it in a wheelbarrow or something like that. I don't know. You knew one day we were going to have to talk about it. So let's make that day today. And let's talk about the Kenner Wicket the Ewok line. Welcome back to the Junkman, everybody. It's me, the Junkman, coming back at you with a whole new video. So, what are we going to talk about today? Everyone's favorite character in Star Wars, Wicked the Ewok. Now, before I pull back the fur of Wicked the Ewok, let me tell you how you can support this channel by going over to Patreon.com. There, become a Patreon supporter, get content early sometimes, commentary for videos, one will be coming up this weekend, and more. If you'd like to support this site in another way, head over to thatjumpman.com to buy some cool t-shirts like this KB t-shirt right here. And if you're watching this video today when it was uploaded, tomorrow all shirts will go on sale for $13. So, don't buy any shirts today. Wait until tomorrow, which will be August 21st. It's going to run for three days, and you can get cool $20 shirts for $13. Now, we got all that out of the way. Let's talk about the hairiest Ewok of them all, Wicked, and his Kenner toy line. First up, we're not going to talk about the action figures from the Ewok cartoon. We're just looking at toys based on Wicked the Ewok toy line. And while researching this video, there was a lot of stuff out there, and I'm not going to cover them all. There was balloons, socks, coloring books. The list goes on and on for days. And after all, this is an Ewok video. So let's just get started and look at some of the best of the Wicked the Ewok line. Who knows, maybe you'll like this video and we can talk about Wicked the Ewok shoes. But first, what are we going to look at? Well, let's talk about one of the coolest ways to listen to music. Here it is from the Kenner Preschool line. The first one we're going to look at from Wicked the Ewok series. Now this one here is a little misleading. It's called the Ewok Music Box Radio. But it's not a radio. It's just a music box. Wicked's trying to rip us off, I guess. This was nothing but a music box that you'd wind the knob and listen to the Star Wars theme. It's not as fun as it sounds, trust me. See where this video's going? <sighs> I'm at the bottom of the barrel, I guess. Well, if I wasn't, I am now. Check out Wicked the Ewok Toothbrush. That's right, here it is, the Ewok Toothbrush. And that's probably the biggest toothbrush handle I've ever seen. It has Wicked at the top of the base with his foot in the hole of a tree and says on the base, Wicked the Ewok. Also, in this picture here, you can see someone went to Kmart and bought this for $6.96. It is an electric toothbrush, well I guess makes it a little bit more fun. Now one thing I love in the Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back line was the Give a Show projector. This was a little box with a light on it. You put film strips in the side and you can see scenes, well, animation scenes, well not animation, drawings from scenes from Star Wars or The Empire Strikes Back. But we're going to talk about the one they did for Wicked the Ewok. Kenner didn't have time to make one for Return of the Jedi to go along with the Star Wars and Empire one. But they did have time to make one for Wicked. And here it is, a projector with the film cells. I don't really have much more I can say about this one. It's just what it looks like. Nothing special. And something I never had as a kid and never wanted as a kid. So I really don't know much about it. There was one thing Wicked was really good at. Teaching kids. From teaching kids how to brush their teeth. How to listen to a music box but call it a radio. And how to tell time. If this was your favorite toy as a child, then you probably had a very boring childhood. But here it is. As the box says, it contains one talking clock. Honestly, I couldn't find any clips of this thing talking. I'm guessing that you just set the hand on whatever time and it says the time. I'm not really sure what it says when it talks. The box doesn't tell you. So I'm sorry, I can't really add more to this. I mean, I looked into it, but I'm not going to spend hours looking at this stupid Ewok clock. However, Kenner did brag on the front of the box that there was a reset button on the back. A reset button. You know you're going to get a fun toy when they highlight on the box that it has a reset button. 
I don't know if I can get through this video. If you think you saw it all with a fake radio and a talking clock, you ain't seen nothing yet. Here's Wicked the Ewok Telephone. Go back in time. A time before a phone would fit into your pocket. Back before you could play games on your phone. This is the phone we had. An Ewok Talking Telephone. Comes with Wicked on a base that says, Hello Wicked. According to the box, the phone will say, Hello, I'm Wicked the Ewok. What child wouldn't want to hear that? It comes with six fun messages. But if you ask me, I think they're stretching the use of the word fun. Why does Wicked have to answer, Hey, I'm Wicked the Ewok. Why does he have to call himself the Ewok? Han Solo doesn't say, Hey, I'm Han Solo the Human. Jabba the Hutt doesn't say, Hey, I'm Jabba the Hutt. Okay, maybe Jabba does, but why does Wicked have to do it? Anyway, that's a look at the Ewok phone. <sighs> what else do we have? Let me check. <sighs> This one looks a little bit more fun. The Wicked the Ewok Play-Doh Set. And unlike the green boxes for the other Wicked the Ewok toys, this one's in the Play-Doh Yellow. You know you don't have much to say about a toy when you have to describe a box. As you can see here on the box, the Ewoks are playing with the Play-Doh and they have the colors all mixed up. And I don't know about you, but I hated playing with Play-Doh and someone wanted to mix the colors because you can never unmix them. Once you put a blue shirt on a brown Ewok, that was it. Your Play-Doh now look like a dirty hemorrhoid. <sighs> hey, you when people mixed my Play-Doh. Don't understand how that upset me. I would play with the red. I would play with the yellow. I would play with the blue. <sighs> but I didn't mix them. You can't mix them because then it's ruined forever. You just mix all the colors together and you can't unmix them. It makes me angry just thinking about kids that would mix up their Play-Doh. <sighs> Let's talk about the board game. Now, I did a whole video on the board game, so I don't have much more to add here. This is Parker Brothers, Wicked the Ewok, and Friends in a Food Gathering Adventure Game. That is probably the longest title for a board game ever. Two to four people can play, ages five to ten. I love that they actually put an end age on this. Usually it says from three and up, from five and up, but nope, from five to ten. They knew no 11-year-old was going to sit around and play this Wicked game. Now, I did a whole video about the game where I talked more of what it's about, and I don't feel like rehashing that again because it sounds stupid then and it still sounds stupid today. Something you fly around on a hang glider, you pick up fruit in a basket and put it in a wheelbarrow or something like that. I don't know. If you really want to know, check out my other video. <sighs> now, let's talk about what might be the coolest of this. That's right, the Wicked the Ewok Sit and Spin. Every kid that grew up in the 70s and the 80s had a sit and spin and some kids were lucky enough to have Wicked the Ewok sit and spin. Spin around and around with Wicked the Ewok and his friends. We never got a Star Wars sit and spin. We never got a Darth Vader sit and spin. We didn't get a Yoda sit and spin and we didn't even get a Dubak sit and spin. But we got Wicked the Ewok sit and spin. Now let's talk about the toys that y'all came to this video to hear about. The Wicked the Ewok Play School Action Figure Line. First up, let's look at the treehouse. And here it is, the Ewok Family Hut Play School Toy. A playset so fun that kids got their hair cut to look like it. Not only did this playset come with a Wicked, it came with other Ewoks, including a baby Ewok. If they have names, I'm not really sure. I mean, I looked at the box, and I looked at some information, couldn't find any names, and that's about as far as I cared to look into it. But it is a pretty cool, fun playset. I mean, just look at this kid. Doesn't it look like he's having fun? I think we see an early picture of a serial killer. <sighs> What's next? Let me see. Oh yeah, a wagon. Let's talk about the Ewok Woodland Wagon. What's Woodland? I don't know. Well, let's take a look. Here it is, the Ewok Woodland Wagon. Is Woodland the name of the town the Ewoks lived? Never knew that. This one here comes with three different Ewoks and a horse pulling a cart. And I think it also comes with a mat that's supposed to be horse urine. But look at this on the ground. Yes, that's part of the playset. Yes, that comes with the toy. I don't know what it is either. Sure, the box says it's a rug, but 
I don't think so. <sighs> Almost through with this Ewok video. Okay. One thing Ewoks had to know to do to live was fight fire. So let's look at the firemen of the Ewok line. Here it is, the Ewok Fire Cart Preschool Toy. This came with two Ewok figures. Both seem to be wearing cowboy hats, and one seems to be wearing a yellow raincoat. It looks kind of like a wagon, but it's not. It's something to put out fires with. This isn't based on the Ewok cartoon, so I really don't even know what this is. It also seems to have a beehive attached to the fire cart. I don't know about you, but racing to a fire and having a beehive on your fire truck just doesn't seem right to me. Now you're probably not asking, did they sell these Ewok figures alone, or did you have to buy them in the playset? You did have to buy them in the playset, unless maybe you own a retail store. And this here is probably the coolest. Let's take a look at this sample of figures that were sent to stores. This set of seven Ewok figures was shipped in a package with a cardboard diorama. They were mailed out to retail buyers as a way to promote the line. The figures are glued to the platform. There's only a few examples of the Ewok family diorama out there. It's probably one of the rarest promotional Star Wars items by Kenner. We did it! We got through all the Ewok toys. Well, not all of them. Part 1. If you like this video, maybe we'll do a part 2. Maybe not. After all, we're talking about Ewoks. And preschool toys. So, I'm not really sure how you guys are going to love this video. But, we're talking Kenner Star Wars all the time. You knew I've got to get around to the Ewok play school toys sooner or later. So, thumb up the video if you want to see a part 2. Or, just thumb up the video if you don't want to see a part 2. Don't get me wrong, I love the Ewoks in Return of the Jedi, but I was way too old for Wicked the Ewok or even the Ewok cartoon. Anyway, thank you for watching. In the comments below, let me know, did you have any of these Ewok toys? If so, which one? And if you had the treehouse, did you get your hair cut to look like it? Let me know that also. Please subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back very soon with a whole new video. Okay, Fred, take us out of here. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.